Hello, and welcome to Making Sense of It. This is our gift to you from the Glasser Institute for Choice Theory, where each week we have a member come on and explain how they use some aspect of choice theory, reality therapy, or lead management. And then uh, we have an opportunity after the airways are closed for those that are watching live to interact with our speaker. Our speaker today is a newly certified, matter of fact, it was 2020 two that you were certified back in December and made a wonderful presentation. It is Gianna Bulger and she is speaking today on a snapshot of WDEP. And those of you that are familiar with reality therapy know what that is, but we will allow Gianna to explain it to us. So welcome everyone and welcome Gianna. I'll turn this over to hello. you. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Good to see all of you. Thank you for coming and listening to my, this is what I gave for my certification presentation. So I'm excited to share it again. Um, I will go ahead and screen share my PowerPoint with you and then I'll give my introduction. So one moment, Mona and I practice this. We'll see if it works this time too. <laughs> okay. Can everyone see there's a picture of an amethyst um, and it has the title and everything. Okay, yes, great. This is good. Okay, great. It's working. Woohoo! Um, so I am, as Mona said, Gianna Bulger. Uh, I'm currently a stay-at-home mother, uh, but I also taught for seven years um, and both, uh, actually all the, um, my teaching experience ranged from first grade to seniors in high school or over the years. Um, and mo uh, most recently I taught elementary. Um, and um, when I started teaching at um, the, at the school, um, uh, at the last school that I taught at, Praise Academy at Lakeside in Shreveport, Louisiana, uh, I also began my choice theory training. Uh, our school um, really values uh, choice theory. And so they ask that or they work to have all their teachers trained in it so we can um, be using it with ourselves as the faculty and um, with our students. So um, I have taught a wide variety of subjects over the years and social studies and science were my core classes. And as an artist, it was also my joy to teach art every year. So um, in my experience of my choice theory training, I realized that a topic that I was really interested in was um, the clarification of what we want, um, and which is part of the WDE pro WDEP process. Um, so I'll explain that briefly and then dive into uh, how I want to focus on it. Um, so um, the w I, as I was learning choice theory, I found that um, the WDEP, uh, which is an application uh, used in reality therapy, an application of choice theory, um, what uh, I found it to be very effective both for myself and um, and I found it uh, it was something that I wanted um, to improve on uh, having conversation having conversations in that pattern with my students as well. Um, so just a quick uh, one moment. I'm gonna switch to the next slide. Okay, so a quick overview. So we're all on the same page because I know um, people in the choice theory world have different focuses, um, but it's explained by both Glasser and Bob Bobaldeen as the acronym of WDEP. So um, the W stands for what we want. Um, the D, and you can ask the question of yourself or another person, what do you want? Um, the D stands for doing. So what are you doing to get what you want? Um, the E stands for self-evaluation, which uh, Wolverine actually, he says that's the keystone of um, the WDEP. Um, and we don't have time in this presentation to talk much about self-evaluation, but it is, I just wanna highlight it, it's very important. Um, and so that's how do you think what you're doing is working for you? Is it getting you what you want or not? Uh, and then finally, um, there is the last step of, of, uh, of the plan, uh, which is 
how would you like to get what you want? Mm -hmm. And one thing I actually have learned about the WD process is I used to think this was like a step one, step two, you know, step one through four, mm -hmm. but it's actually, it's not. In a conversation, you can pull, uh, you can jump to any step that's helpful in that moment to help the person um, move to a next point. And, um, but I um, specifically in this presentation want to focus on the W step, which is um, what do you want, um, and going after and going after that a little bit more. So what we want, um, we we want things that fit with our quality world. Um, so I've got a brief definition from Glasser of what the quality world is. Um, the small, um, I'm gonna move. The small group of specific pictures that portray more than anything else we know the best ways to satisfy one or more of our basic needs. So, as in our lives, as we're pursuing what we want, we're always comparing it to our quality world. You know, does this match? Um, and that's and that's where you get some of the other steps and especially the self evaluation. Um, but you're always, is this, you know, is this what I want? Does this match my quality world? Um, so that's that's at the at the base of what we want. Okay, so then exploring what we want. Um, so that and this is where you really start to get into the WDE process, DEP process. We all have. Um, you know, we all have this quality world, um, but unless we do some self-reflection, um, we are not always aware of what's there. You know, we, we, we have things stored there all the time, um, but unless we really uh, ask ourselves some questions and look at it, um, it, um, it doesn't always man. We aren't always aware ourselves of what's there, but, uh, in reality therapy, we really work to be purposeful and really uh, be aware if we are matching some of our quality world pictures and are moving towards meeting um, some of our quality world pictures or not. Um, you use skillful questioning. Um, and this is, this is where you're trying to start clarifying your want. Um, you're using skillful questioning to help the client formulate, clarify, delineate, and prioritize the elements or desires contained in your quality world. Uh, it includes, but is not limited to relationships, treasured possessions, and core beliefs. So when you're going through this process, you are working you, uh, with that, usually with the help of another um, to really start de uh, delving into your quality world and clarifying what is it in this moment that I want. Okay, so let me let me jump back. We don't need this slide. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, so in my presentation, I'm actually going to give you a scenario where I experienced a lot of different wants all at the same time, um, and uh, I'm gonna in just a moment I'll put up um, the next slide, and that will be the guide for our activity. Uh, so I'll have you you get to listen to the scenario, and then. Uh, we'll do an activity. So now I will go ahead and put up the slide. Um, this is um, a list. These are two lists that I compiled. It's based on a chart that uh, Wolverine created. And these are options of questions that you can ask somebody to help them clarify what they want. Um, so the first columns with the numbers one through five, um, you have um, you have the questions: What do I want that I'm not getting? What will I settle for? What am I getting that I don't want? What are the priorities in what I want? And what is my level of commitment to any of the categories? And then in the second column, the letters A B E you have categories or areas of your life that you can ask one of those questions about. So the categories are from my spouse, from my job, from my students, from myself, and from my friends. So I have the little lines drawn, it's like a matching column. Uh, so you can, you can mix and match questions. You can say, 
um, what is my level of commitment to uh, my job? Uh, or what do I want that I'm not getting from my spouse? So you can combine any of these questions. Wolverine has a, has a more of a grid, but for my presentation, I found that simplifying it, uh, I'm trying to simplify it to a, to a matching here. So as I, uh, what I'm gonna ask you to do after I share my scenario is to pick, uh, is to formulate one of these questions um, that you could ask me to help me clarify my want as I share with you um, that moment in my life. Uh, so as I'll leave this slide up as I'm sharing uh, so that you can have it ready to go. Uh, one quick note, um, when I am sharing the scenario, there's, there's a lot of information uh, and don't feel like you have to take note of every little thing. Uh, instead, just go ahead and see what sticks out to you. So that's, so this, this scenario is, is from my own life. It, it really happened and it was the inspiration for this presentation. Um, but, uh, but, but before I start briefly, is, uh, are there any questions for clarification or are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Okay, so here's the scenario. Now, at the time I was newly married, I was still teaching full time and I was also um, trying to set up my home for the first time. So imagine I've just walked into my house after a long day of school. And as I come in the door, several thoughts come instantly and simultaneously to my mind. Did I take the meat out of the freezer for dinner? When will we get the family picture on that wall? Have I called my mom yet this week? The laundry needs to be changed now or it won't be done before bed. I want to reorganize the kitchen cupboards. Change out of your uniform, start exercising. Ah, I wish I hadn't said that to my student Jalen today. I want a nap, I'm hungry. When will my husband Joe be home? where to begin. My body starts to follow the routine that I've created after school. I exercise, shower, make dinner, and eat with Joe. And later that evening, I was folding laundry, uh, feeling very tired and out of sorts, and very frustrated. Uh, thoughts were going through my mind, such as, I will never get the house the way I want it. I don't spend enough time at school. And when I'm there, I don't use my time well. I don't care for my family enough. Why do I always say that to so-and-so? I paused in my train of thought and asked myself, why am I so upset? I did things today that met my needs and that are important to me. I did the schoolwork that I planned for that day. I exercised, I have clean clothes, I made dinner which I enjoy doing uh -huh. and it's, and I value it. Having a delicious dinner um, to share with my husband at the end of the day is something that's important to me. Uh, and also I actually, I find folding the clothes and the laundry relaxing. So what's my problem? Why am I so frustrated right now? Um, and I also found myself asking, what does reality therapy offer me at this moment? So this is, that's the end of the scenario. So this is the moment where anyone who's interested could ask me uh, one of the questions. Uh, if it would help, I can give you a minute to um, choose a question. Would that help at all, just to take a minute? Well, what are you getting that you don't want? Mm. Uh, from which area or? From yourself. Mm. <laughs> um, a lot of pressure. <laughs> I, yeah, at the time I was, so I, by the way, I will answer these questions from, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. so some of a reflective perspective, but also some of where I was at at the time. Um, at the time I had some, I had some expectations, um, some quality world pictures that I was trying to meet um, and uh, I didn't, and putting a lot of pressure on myself to meet. Um, but I could, in reality, um, I couldn't meet them all at the same time. But I was still putting all that pressure on myself anyways. 
And we could also go down to question number five. What is your level of commitment to any of the categories? In that you were naming so many things, and if you weighed every one of them at 50, mm -hmm. wow, that's a heavy load. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, which I, yes, you're right. I was also doing, they were all, I couldn't figure out how to change what or how to weigh, sift out what was more important than another. You know, so that's what I, some of what I'm trying to do in that moment. <laughs> Which yeah. goes back to your definition of what uh, the WDEP is, is that you're formulating, clarifying, and prioritizing. Mm -hmm. Yep. But to continually prioritize and how much weight have I put to this that could be diminished. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, it is really true. A lot of, most of what we want, we want a lot of things at the same time. They're often very complex and they're often very conflicting. Um, and so we do, it is a, we do have to go through this struggle of what am I willing to sacrifice? Um, what am I, what am I willing to do more of or less of? Um, what, uh, what's important to me at this time? You know, am I willing to let those other things go and become important for another time? You know, like uh, this constant, uh, weighing and evaluating that's so that's where the self-evaluation comes in but it's complicated <laughs> okay so you want to continue sure yeah yeah does anyone else have any other questions they want to ask me of these two columns from these two columns this is good so let's go ahead and go to, oh. uh, to your next slide okay well th this this is the conclusion of my presentation then. It was just this activity of um, asking questions based on the scenario. Um, and as I said briefly in, uh, in conversation, uh, well, first of all, thank you for helping me clarify some of what I wanted at that time. Um, but, and as I said briefly in our conversation, it just, it really is the case that we are very complex people and our quality worlds are complex. Um, how we live them out is complex. And at one point I had thought about simplifying the scenario and I realized it wouldn't reflect our reality very well. You know, it may make it easier to do the activity, um, but so I really decided to leave it um, as messy as that moment in my life really was because most of us experience life that way. Um, and we're all just, do and at the time we're, we're just doing the best we can at the time, um, but but I really have, um, really have found this process of the WDEP helpful uh, for me personally to really, uh, in the midst of the complexity, be more purposeful about am I doing what I want and to do that. So thank you for your time. Well, thank you very much. And I really appreciate uh, your clarification here of how you adapted. Yeah, that and giving honor to yourself as well as to uh, Bob Wobelding. Yes. So thank you very much. Uh, your, I appreciate your openness. Uh, go ahead and stop the screen share. Okay. So we can just talk with you one on one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, your openness and being so forthright and, you know, coming out and letting us know how frustrated you were and so forth reminds me of once whenever my daughter was in a similar situation it was kind of mm -hmm. and my husband uh, said to her he said well are you telling me you can't be in two places at one time <laughs> and she thought about that a minute and she says well if I could be in two places at one time I would keep myself I would be in bed I'd keep one of me in bed recharging the whole time <laughs> <laughs> and so the way you have presented this is that maybe we can spend part of our mental energy recharging while we're doing something else physically that's mm -hmm. and looking at those priorities mm -hmm. so here for just a moment uh is there uh sharon you have any comment that you'd like to make Well, I enjoyed the way you came in at night because I've experienced the same thing. We all have at times, you know, so it's, it's very relatable and understandable. Uh, and then beginning to prioritize and go through your, you stuck to your routine, which is mm -hmm. what I found, you know, and I do too have routines that sometimes 
they keep me get me through things because exactly. I'm comfortable with them. I know how to do them. And I fall back on those sometimes as I try to figure out other things to do. So, yeah. Yeah. That was great. Well, we'll go ahead and close the airways off because this making sense of it is to be short and sweet so that those that are still learning more about reality therapy and choice theory and lead management can, you know, come to the website and get some, some bites that will really help them solve a problem. But stay tuned, those of you that are here live, and we'll chat a little bit more with our speaker. So thank you for being here and many blessings and good mental health. Yeah.